we're going to play the G major scale. So you've got the first position down. I'm not going to. Okay, you've got that. You can go to the second position. Which you've got the third position. Easy. Fourth position is a half step above. Okay, that third. And it's just like this. It's a whole step, whole step. Okay. And then here's your seven. Here's your root. Here's G. And then just these two. And then you got to go down just like you did here. Exactly, exactly. Okay, good. So you're, you're connecting with that. Now the fifth position is just a step up from the four. Okay, and this is pretty easy because the pattern is That's easy. All three strings look the same. Then this one And here's your root. Seven root. Whole step. Then you gotta shift up because we're on the stupid B string. Okay, and then you go Okay. Then these are easy. You can play those all over a G progression, mm -hmm. but you're like, but Matt, I don't play a lot of major stuff. So I say, then try a minor progression, mm -hmm. which for this, it would be really cool. I want you to try like an, an A minor seven. And we can, I, I may have touched on this a little yeah, bit last time, yeah. making an A minor seven like this so that you fret these three strings. So going from the D, G, and B string, you're fretting all those, and that's very nice. And really just be very uh, conscious of that tilt, you know, because you want to tilt your hand as much as you can to where it's comfortable, right? And then you're going to go to a major, so a D major, okay? That progression works with the G major scale. And I'm not going to explain it all because it'll just bore you right now, but like you can play Just, you have a looper, right? A no, looper. I was going to get one. Okay, okay. But even if you don't, you can even record on your phone or something, you know, some way to loop something and, and play A minor. Really, A minor 7 sounds better because it's got that flat 7 in it. Now, you can, you can play two scales. You can practice your C major scale over it. Okay. You can also um, practice... I mean G major scale, excuse me, I'm thinking. I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm glad you caught that. G major scale over that, and uh, and then you can practice like an A minor pentatonic. Okay. Okay? So, and then kind of see how those are overlapping. Okay, A minor pentatonic and G major. It's kind of weird, but G major scale, not G major pentatonic, but G major and a minor pentatonic. Hopefully that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But I just want to give you something fun to play when you're practicing those scales, mm -hmm. okay? Making up some chord progressions.